Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Uh, so today we're going to continue working on this um, picture right here that we started uh, yesterday. Um, I will leave all the links to everything I'm using down in the description, as usual, and I will um, also leave um, all the supplies I'm using, like pencils and, and everything, down there in case you want to get them out before we start. Um, so I think we'll just jump straight in, and we're going to start with um, the bird over here. Um, and I think I want to go with a little bit of a goldy color. So we're uh, going to do that. We're still using Brutes. Um, now that I think about it, I need to sharpen mine. I forgot. Um, but yeah, we're still using Brutes for Nurse, the uh, 120 square set. I don't know if the round ones matches. Um, but yeah, that's what we're using. Okay, so sorry, I had to go sharpen mine real quick. Um, so we're going to start with this one. It is number 024. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Let's see, I think that is better. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is a darker brown. It's the darkest brown we're, we're going to use. It's um, uh, I'm going dark to light. So we're just going to put this in very lightly in the uh, shadowy areas. So here on the tail feathers, right uh, where they're being overlapped by that wing. Like so, just very lightly. Pull it out a little bit or fade it out so that I can blend in with the other colors. We're going to go on these little circle -y bits here and we're going to go on the underside of them. Like so. And we're going to go on the wing. We're going to go right here where they kind of connect let's get that that's a hair but I'm just coloring it anyways because it'll be like the whole bird is pretty much going to be the same color I kind of want to keep it simple ish See, like so and get this here on the underside a little like so and also get this here where they go from the big feathers to the smaller ones also I'm going to since it's on the bottom I'm going to put some on this wing right here, like so. Then we're going to go on these little hairs. Like so. I think I just put a little too much on those hairs, but that's okay. like so and get where um on the on the belly or on the chest where it's kind of being overlapped so get right here but just like just a little bit not too much get kind of in the in-betweens here A little underneath the foot and also on the bottom of the foot. <clears throat> Same with the leg. 
Then we're going to go on the belly, which would be darker. Like so. And get the leg here. I'm kind of ignoring the pattern a little bit. That's usually how I go about these. Uh, let's get in the in-betweens here and underneath on the belly. Let's get this foot while we're at it. And these hairs, just kind of where they connect and also where they overlap. like so i don't know what to do with those little dots there just kind of realized that they were there get this here like so uh, i definitely need some down here Let's get some like so. Because like I said, I'm just kind of ignoring the pattern on most of this bird. Like so. Uh, let's see. Get these here. Maybe get these little circle-y things. And of course I'm going to ignore the eye. I'm going to go in with this around the eye a little. It's very lightly and also up here. And then we'll do the beak on the bottom here. like so okay so i think i got everything if not i can always just go back in then we're going to go in with uh, a 022 which is another brown it's a, a lighter brown and we're going to go over what we've done and pull it out a little like so get in here just kind of follow the <clears throat> the darker brown around get these hairs like so get this leg here sorry I talk to myself a lot when I color <laughs> like so get on the underside of this feather here because it's kind of on the bottom uh, let's get this leg before I forget <clears throat> like so and then get this over on this side like so and I missed uh, a hair 
our hair strand. So let's just go in with the darker brown, put that in. And then go back over with this. I just hope this turns out. I've never used this combo before. Um, I was going through my, my browns and, and oranges and yellows to find something that looked all right on a spare piece of paper. So let's hope it actually works on the page. Sometimes it looks different from when you're just swatching them in like a gradient on a piece of paper. It looks way different from when you actually put it on the page. So like so, and get around the eye here and this little eyebrow or whatever that is. here I don't know what to do with those little dots I might do some glitter gel pen or something I don't know okay there I think then we're gonna go in with some 004 it's uh, orange so let's just start up here and I don't want to pull it too far out but I need to pull it out say almost to the edge, at least on these circles. Pull it out like so. You can always go back in. Since we're going so lightly, we can always go back in with more brown if we need to do that. Let's see, I just saw, I just see a, a spot here that I missed with the browns. Let's see, like so. Okay, then orange. Just again, very, very lightly. I know I say that a lot, but I really mean it. Let's see, like so. Gonna go in here, do the same thing, pull it out, not all the way out. In some places it will be more than others. Depends on the area. Let's get this here. A little bit up into this one, like so. Get the foot and the leg. And also underneath here. This I want to pull up a little bit more just because it's on the underside. So it would be more, it would be darker um, than say, you know, up top here. Get this foot here, pull it almost all the way out, leave a little white. See, like so, get these little feet here, I'm trying to be careful around this icicle. Blue and orange are complementary, so they will neutralize each other if they, if they blend. here will be dark or because it's such a small area okay. 
let's fade that out like so. Okay, almost there. Starting to look a little goldish. Pull this in towards the middle. And pull this out. And pull this up. And then pull around the eye down and out a little and then get the beak here get across that line there but leave a little white get in these little circly things and then up on these little swirly things gotta love my technical terms all right and i think i think i got all of it um, then we're going to go in with some 003. It's a very, it looks kind of orangey, but it is, um, a very warm yellow. So I'm just going to go over everything with this. And still lightly in case we want to go back in. And I'm going, I'm starting in the light areas and I'm going into the darker areas. And I need to stop brushing it off with my hands and start using my brush. Okay, so like so. It's not too bad. So like so, just kind of work our way down. So, try not to get this in the blue too, because we don't want green. Let's just get this from the light area and pull it out and also up. Like so. there and let's get on the foot here then we only got this half left or it's not even is it a half i think it's a little bit less than a half but i am i think gonna go back over it again um just because I want to kind of deepen the color a little. Let's see here. But since we've already kind of colored it, um, it won't take as long to go back over because we don't have to figure out where where this goes and where that goes. We kind of just have to basically do the same thing as we did last time. So here, get this yellow in there. Okay, 
like so. Oh, and try not to go over the eye. My goodness. <clears throat> okay, so let's just go over a little bit again. Start with the darkest, which is number 024. Just want to deepen up some areas and, you know, you can never go wrong with layering. At least that's my opinion. I love, love, love layering. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see, go in here. Like so. And I'm still using a very light touch. I just kind of go over multiple times. Start here and work our way over. See, like so. Get in between these feathers here. get on all these hairs I mean you probably already know this because we've already done it just go like so get on the bottom here Like so, it's getting there, get on these feet, I think I do feel like I need a little bit more right here, it doesn't look dark enough, and let's get some here, Get on all these little hairs. And get on the belly. See, I do feel like I need a little bit more on this belly over here, especially on the bottom. Maybe a little bit just in the nooks and crannies. This is what I think is so great, but having um, a light touch is that you, you know, you don't really flatten the tooth of the paper, so you can always go back in and deepen things up or add some more color. Okay, like so. Get around here. Probably should sharpen this. I'll do that before we do the other bird. Um, probably should sharpen, but uh, my sharpener doesn't give a super pointy tip to this. Um, or a super pointy point. Uh, I use the uh, Dollar 166. It does sharpen them pretty good, but it, it it's not like super sharp. It gives kind of like a, a blunt point to it. So I might have to find something that gives a better point. I know the, uh, what's it, the Stedler is supposed to work good. So I might have to look into that. Okay, like so. Then we'll go back in with the 022. Deepen up this. And this is a more reddish brown. I mean the other one is too, but it's darker and it's more brown. This is more reddish brown. Just 
let's kind of go like so can pull that out a little bit over there just because it's on the bottom okay like so <clears throat> So let me turn a little just so I get a, a decent angle. Okay, here. Like so, just kind of have that in. Make sure you fade out that edge so we don't uh, get stuck with a with an edge. Get all these little hairs again. Okay, like so. Okay, like so. Just get all this here. Okay. Yeah, get this. Pull this up and go around the eye. Hey, my voice is going. Okay, like so. Go on the beak, and then I think we are done with this color right here. I think. I think I got everything. <clears throat> I'm liking how this gold is coming out. Um, it's the orange, so that is number zero zero four. over with that and fade it out just kind of I don't know um dab it in there almost this color along is actually going pretty quick um there will be one more part for the background I think background and embellishments um it will be a neo2 background uh if you don't have neo2s you can use king art gel sticks or or gelatos or something else instead doesn't necessarily have to be neo2s you can always find colors that are similar let's get this one here uh, or you can just skip it i know backgrounds are not the most fun thing to watch. Um, but you, if you want to, um, you can, you can leave, um, suggestions down in the comments if you want, um, of maybe books that you want to see a color along out of, and I can try to, um, you know, I keep a list, um, of books that have been requested and suggested and I try to include some in my polls I think this one was uh, requested at one point it just takes me a while to to get to each uh, you know each one but um, if you do um, have a book that you want me to do a color along out of just leave it in the comments and like I said, I do keep a list in my um, bullet journal from from when I tried bullet journaling, and I think it lasted a week, but then I converted it into a uh, coloring 
journal type thing keep my book list in there i keep my little charts in there because i um uh some of my books i number the pages and i take them off as i go i keep those in there and i also write down the pages i do every month because i have the mind of a goldfish and i forget each month what i color so when i get to my completed pictures or completed pages videos i have no idea what i've colored if i don't write it down so anyway so i keep all that in there so i do keep a list was my whole point to that whole rant right there and it makes it so much easier for me to to figure out something to do this is the yellow by the way 003 uh that way i don't have to sit and try to figure out um which book to do or which books to put in the poll and also y'all get what y'all want Let's see like so let's just kind of put this in here blend it all together i think this is looking pretty okay I like how this gold is coming out. Probably not the best gold, but it will it will do. Let's see, like so. Just I'm not too fussed about going over the lines right now, like inside the bird, I mean, because um I'm gonna go over with all of it with the yellow anyways. here try not to get it in the icicle but if it does get in the icicle it's not a big deal because icicles are you know they're very shiny and stuff and they sometimes reflect colors of things that are around them so it is not the end of the world if you get some yellow in there kind of like with crystals crystals also reflect colors of the items that are around it The clear ones at least so get in here like so get the head and then we finished one bird then we'll do the other one and then like I said I'll leave the background for tomorrow Because I think it may be a little too lengthy if I add it in. Because back ones take me a while. I think it's best to be done on its own. Okay, like so. Here. I think that's good. Let's get some in here. Like so. And maybe, you know, um, probably... Uh, after we've done the background, I'll go in and, um, you know, put some white gel pen here and there. Let's do the eye, actually. Put some white gel pen here and there um, to, um, you know, get some highlights and stuff. But I, I always do that last. So for the eye, it's number uh, 038. I want a blue eye. So just put that in here. And then also, let's see here, let's put that over there, 089. It's the darkest blue that we used yesterday. And just a little bit at the top. And I've gotten some yellow in my eye, so it tur it's turning a tiny bit uh, green, but that's okay. I kind of like it, so and just go back over with this. I wonder if we should do these things blue as well while we're at it. I think maybe we should. So just put some of that dark blue in here. Let's see, like so. 
probably should have sharpened these two, but that's all right. Didn't know I was going to use some until right now. Like so, like so, like so, and like so, and those will probably get some type of sparkle on them eventually. <clears throat> okay, then back to the gold, because I want to do both birds the same way. So, um, 024, we'll start up here, like so, and we'll go... Do the same thing that we've been doing on the other bird. Just use this a little sparingly because we can always go in and add more. It is easier to add more color than take color away, especially dark, the darker color or more staining colors. So like so, make sure I am in frame and y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Not very helpful if my hand's in the way the whole time. Let's get this here. Let's see, this is like so. Let's get this here. Um... I don't know what I want to do with that because that's something that looks like it's like laying over the head. I don't know. I might just ignore it. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll go in like so, maybe. Just a little bit above, um, above the beak there. Okay, like so. This has got more feathers on it. See, this is the wing. So underneath here, because it's being overlapped by body or is coming in from behind the body let's get the bottom let's also just get this one like so and like so and this is why the first layer usually takes a little longer because you kind of have to figure out where everything goes and you have to map out the shadows like so. Uh, let's get this here. Like so. The bottom here. And around on the feathers here. I'm just going to completely ignore all those feathers there. I might go in with a white gel pen tomorrow. But for now, I'm completely ignoring them. Just like they're not even there. Let's see. Oh, that was wrong. Whoops. I'll have to try to erase that. Going around the rounded ones, um, the rounded feathers over here, not the uh, triangular ones that I just went around. Let me get my sharpener out, or sharpener, my eraser even. My goodness. Okay, like so uh, let's get here. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, it's fine. I don't have very steady hands, so they kind of wobble sometimes. Let's get this like so. Uh, would be some here, I think. And like so, just go like so with that. And also like so, because of the icicle. I don't know about this here, but I do kind of want this to be like so, and like so. Okay, 
Okay, did I get everything? I think I did. Um, oh, I did not get the eye here. Okay, like so. Let's go on with the 022. Like so, and just go over and fade it out. This one was a little trickier because it's a different pattern, different angle. See, like so. Pull this up a little, especially on the bottom. <clears throat> and do this here. Same thing. Oh, I forgot the feet. Oh no. I'll have to go back in with my dark and add in the feet. Whoopee. Okay, so let's go in here on the bottom and just do the nails as well. Same here, like so. Okay, that should be better. Just go over everything we've done and fade it out. This gold does not have to be identical to the other gold. And it's okay if it's not. Let's see, like so, get this here, fade this out, same here. And same here. Uh, let's see, did I do all this up here? I did. Uh, maybe we'll put some of this right here. Just right above this here. I'll go in with this wing here. Just kind of fade this out. Same here. Like so. Okay, so we got the back side left. And then around here. Just kind of fade it out. I think that is it. For that one at least. Then we're going to go back in with the 004, the uh, orange. And we're going to go over, fade it out, and you can fade it out, whoops, you can fade it out as much as you want. Um, I try to not fade it out too much, but not too little at the same time, if that makes any sense. That tells you absolutely nothing. <sighs> okay, so like so. Maybe a little bit more, I think, on this underside over here than the top side. I mean, uh, I think I need to sharpen this one because it's kind of dull and it's going everywhere. And then I'll sit in color with it for another five minutes before I actually do it. Let's get this collar looking thingy around here. And also let's get this here. And I forgot the feet yet again with that other color. My goodness. 
There's always something I forget. And apparently this time it's defeat. Okay, like so. And I'm going to have to go and sharpen, I think. Yeah, I think I may have to. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'll sharpen my pencil. All right. All, well, sharper at least. Let's see. Let's get this here. Leave a little sliver of white. Put this down like so. Now let's get down here too. So, uh, let's get up here. Oh, whoops. Like so. Okay, then we just got the tail feathers, and then it's in with the yellow. This here, like so. I definitely need to go darken some of these areas up. Okay, like so, I think. Maybe pull these out a little. That should be good. Then we're going to go in with number 003 and we're going to go over everything. And what I usually do, I need to erase that. What I usually do is I increase my pressure a tiny bit just to get a little bit more of a, of a blend. But I still don't go um, in very hard with a very hard pressure. Sorry, that's a plane, if y'all can hear that. Let's see, like so. I may have to pull the darker colors further out, I think. This is looking a little wonky. <laughs> I will go over again and sometimes it just needs another layer. Like so, pull this into the darker. Get the feet that I keep forgetting about. Okay, like so. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll just start somewhere. That's good, right there. And 
like so. And I guess we'll start up here with the wing and work our way down. Like so, let's get the tail feathers here. And like so. Okay. Then we'll start again with the 024. And we're just going to quickly go back over. Deepen up some of these darker spots. some here get some here and some there so much easier now that we don't actually have to map out anything we just kind of got to go trace what we've already done kind of pull it a little further out over on the bottom side Go around this collar here, like so. Just kind of fade it out. Maybe get a little bit right in here. Kind of feels off that there's not anything in there. wing okay, like so get this other side of the wing here before i forget oh and let me not forget the feet Okay, like so. Start up here, I guess, and work our way down. Let's get this here, like so. At the bottom here. And then just the tail feathers around the um, rounded ones here. Okay, like so. Then we'll go to the uh, next color, which is the 022. Pull this up. And out. Pull 
like so. Get these hair, hairs, hair, whatever. Like so. And I also need to remember to do the pupils, but I usually try to do that last because it will be, you know, black. And I really don't want to smear black into, into um, anything else. So usually do that last, but I also, because I usually save it for last, I usually forget a lot. So like so, get this here both sides pull it out like so Let's get over on this side. I feel like I do need more around here. Sorry if I'm mumbling. <laughs> this is what I do when I color. Um, I just sit here and mumble to myself. Oh, whoops. Okay, like so. Get this here almost done and I know it's been taking a while just for two birds but like I always say I love love the process and gold does take a minute at least for me it does like so Pull this out. Need to remember what color I'm using so I don't pull it out too much. This is a very nice brown for gold, I think. Okay, so 004, orange again. And this time I'm going to pull it out a little further. Uh, I'm leaving a little sliver of yellow up at the beak and get this further out here. I just feel like this has got too much yellow, not necessarily in this hair, but in the bird itself. I feel like there may be a little bit too much yellow. I'm getting orange literally everywhere because the tip is so broad. Let's just get this here, pull this up, go around here. Pull this a little bit more into the yellow. Like so, I think that's maybe a little bit better. Do the wing. So, get this little uh, thingy here, same here, pull that out towards the middle, same thing on this other side here, just a little bit more, I guess it's being overlapped by that icicle. Okay, 
let's get some in here like so and like so and let's get this area right here and then we just got the tail feathers and then the yellow and then we're done well and then the eye and then we're done Pull this out. Not all the way, but a little further. like so then we'll go back in with the yellow and I think I probably should sharpen mine okay yeah I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen mine okay all sharp let's see here so much better let's kind of go in with a little bit more pressure just kind of blend it all together. I definitely have to erase a lot around all that hair. Let's see, like so. Let's get from the top over here. Let's see, like so. kind of work our way over I guess like so went in with a little too much pressure there so now there's like a little bit of a line but I think I think it fix it okay, like so did I forget the feet with the orange I don't know if I did it's not a huge deal though so let's just go over with the yellow okay, like so almost <clears throat> almost done my goodness my voice okay like so get the brush stop using my hands okay 
so I guess let's start this end. So, and I just used my hand again. Like so. And like so. Okay. I think that is it for the birds. I'm kind of happy with how they're coming out. Very nice and goldy-ish. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this bird right here with the eyes. So in with the 038 words. Not working for me. And some 089 at the top here, maybe a little bit right there. Back in with the 038. Okay, like so. Then I need to find me a black, which I don't even know um, what, which one is black in here. Let's see, it's just a black. No, that is not a black. Good thing I checked. That's turquoise. What about you? Are you black? You are indeed. Okay. All right. So go in with some 073. It's either a black or a really dark gray. I'm not totally sure. And it's not sharp at all. But okay, so like so. So I may have to go in with a white gel pen and just put a dot in there because it's breaking me out that there isn't. Okay, so like so. Yeah, let's just use. We're not gel penning just yet, but I'll still use. Uh, see, this is an Arteza 0.6 white gel pen. But I do need, I need a dot and I, I can't, I can't not put in a dot and I. That's going to freak me out. <laughs> okay. And we finished the bird. So tomorrow, okay, I just accidentally paused it while talking, I think. Uh, so sorry. Um, tomorrow, we will do the background. It will be a Neo 2 background, and uh, we'll do some um, embellishment with some uh, white gel pen, uh, possibly some Wink of Stella. Um, some, you know, some, some type of sparkly thing. Um, so yeah, I guess that is it for today. And um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Toodaloo.